Hi, this is Jeff from Obedia, and today we're going to do a quick overview of working with tracks in Studio One. Like most software programs, you're going to have at least two to three different ways at any given point to do something. So we'll go through those as far as creating tracks and getting started with them. If you just want to do it from the drop down menu, you feel more comfortable with the drop down menu. It's a little more mouse intensive, but you've got your different types of tracks here, as well as the general add tracks dialog. But we can go right to an audio track, instrument track, automation, folder, and there's some other options as well. Now, besides drop down menus, you can just simply right click over a blank area of the track field, and you've got more or less the same menu that you did up here in the track drop down. There's a few more things in the track drop down. So this is going to be your ultimate repository of stuff to do for tracks, but you've got most of the main stuff right here. So I can just simply hit add instrument track. There it is done. The final way that I'll mention to you is probably the quickest and easiest. You just simply double click, not right click, but double click. And now you have your add tracks dialog and you can choose everything you need right here. So really quick and easy to do. So if we add track here, and that's the shortcut T. This is our dialogue. Starting at the top, we've got the name, which could be drum, guitar, bass, how many we want. So this we can actually have multiple tracks. We're not gonna pack folders. Track folder is another feature that is covered in a separate video. So if you wanna check out more about that, that's a really cool feature. Then we have the type of track that are available. Audio, instrument, automation, and folder. Most of the time you'll be working with audio and instruments, especially when you're just getting up and running with a particular song. If you want a particular track color to begin with, you can select that here. Of course, auto color will just automatically uh, choose a, a standard track color, or you can uncheck that. And then you've got your different colors here. Format, usually it's gonna be mono or stereo. Any particular presets you wanna use, you've got some cool things to start with right here with Studio One, different types of guitar tracks. So you kind of have plugins and everything else set up ahead of time. Which input you're going to choose, you can see in this drop down here, I've got a few different ones to choose from because I'm using a slightly larger interface. You may just have two ins and two outs to choose from. And then finally we hit OK. Now we've got a bunch of tracks made. All set up more or less. You may not always want to name them right away or just name them later, which is pretty easy to do. You just simply double click here. And now I can call it something else. Another important area of a track is this little Studio One icon, because this brings up the location of the track in the mixer. And also on the side here, if you don't have this showing up, you just click the I, and you've got explicit information about that particular track, right? We've got, we can change the inputs, we can change the outputs where it's gonna be routed to. And uh, it also gives you a quick close up of whatever inserts or effects you have going on, inserts or sends that you have going on on a track. And the main difference between an audio and instrument track, of course, is instrument is where you're hosting a software synthesizer. So the other main step you would take would be to show your browse window and choose from one of the instruments. If they're not showing, see here on the bottom, I'm clicking instruments. These are the instruments I have available, and I just simply drag and drop onto that track. And now I've got the instrument that I'm, I need to start sequencing. So hope you enjoy this video. It's just a real quick primer on getting up and running with audio and instrument tracks in Studio One. This is Jeff from Obedia. Have a good one. Mm -hmm.